It's me, Ninsoni. Welcome back to VR. Um, today I'm showing off a little bit of a crazy little project that I was uh, trying trying out. It's not really a, an active project or anything special like that. It's um, more of something that I just wanted to try just to see how it works. And uh, a quick warning and a big warning. This video will give you motion sickness if you are a motion sickness sufferer. If not, uh, do not open Unity and try this out. This is pretty much the most insane thing in terms of motion sickness you can possibly do. And what it is, um, ordinarily when you make a game, uh, you have your character in a way, even if it's a physics based character, you don't allow them to roll and tilt and stuff. You usually allow them to turn left and right, um, but that's about it. Uh, normally the mouse or whatever controls that. Here, I've taken all of those limits out <laughs> and I've just got an unconstrained um, physics character. It's not really a ragdoll or anything. There's some physics on the legs and that's about it. And um, what it is, I've got some control over the boosters here on my left foot, my right foot, my left hand and my right hand. And of course, I can target where those things push. This is a completely unconstrained physics body, which means if I push, <laughs> I actually fall down and then I'm going to have to sort of boost myself back up again. Um, I can control where the mini cam is so that you can uh, sort of turn around and see the mountain behind us there. And uh, then what I want to try and do is try and get on top of the old uh, bob on battlefield mountain up there. So. Let's see how difficult this is. This is inc incredibly difficult, by the way, because, um, yeah, I haven't really got much air control. Well, as, as I've got too much air control. Let's put it that way. Anyways, um, this is this is quite motion, motion sickness intense as well. <laughs> Let's just try and get hovering first. Oh, oh. And there you go. No, nope. once that starts spinning, you have pretty much lost it. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I said, warning, don't try this at home. It uh, it doesn't feel good after a moment. So this is pretty much the first time uh, for a long time I've felt proper motion sickness. But I'm alright. I can I can deal with it for the minute or two that I make this video. Ooh, that is that is heavy. Um, let's do this. Right, I am so gonna get on top of that mountain. I've managed it once before in the little testing that I did today. Um, but uh, other than that, not really. Let's go. And up, and up. Oh, a little bit to the left. At least, at the very least, I should be able to balance. Ah, I'm falling. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is near impossible, by the way. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it's possible for this to even be possible in reality. Anyways, let's do this one more time. Uh, and I say one more time, I'm pretty much lying. Um, now, the actual build that I was working on and the reason that I actually built this into this little Unity project is, ooh, is actually because of... I was working on something which is more of a cube-based physics uh, project. So, ooh, let's just move away from this thing. There we go, on top. <laughs> I'm just sort of tumbling all over the place. Um, yeah. Now, the reason I actually built this project is it's actually a cube block world that I've built where the gravity uh, sort of points downwards on a flat plane rather than the way that a spherical gravity would work. So it's pretty much like a universe uh, kind of shape uh, where you've got actual worlds that can be separated with their own gravity but you still have this sort of flat plane of gravity that works uh, as you'd expect within the flat plane once you go over the corner you're onto the other plane of gravity and uh, that sort of works in a, a little bit of a quadratic formula where as you go over the corner it actually blends towards the next plane so the other thing i've done is i've actually added atmosphere if i go high enough um that sun up there ooh, where have I landed? No, oh, I'm just gonna tumble down now. Ooh, let's get out of here. And as you can see, it's pretty much impossible to control anything here. Uh, also, yeah, that sun, which is uh, let's just let's just look at it. There we go. That sun 
it is actually a physics object. Uh, well, actually, it's not a physics object, but it is a physical object. That's uh, an object that you can land on um, miles, miles away. And as you go closer, as you go up out of the actual block atmosphere, the sky becomes dark, which is quite cool. And it's an actual sky map. It's part of Unity's sort of sky. <laughs> I just fell all the way down. Uh, it's actually part of Unity's sort of sky system. Sky map. If I go high enough, in fact, right now, then I'll be able to show you that. I highly doubt I am going to get high enough, though. Unless I can balance this. Oh! Come on, come on, balance it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, have I done it? <laughs> you can probably tell the sky is going a little bit darker now. I think. I can sort of half tell. I don't know what's going on. You know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I can't Iron Man. I am not Iron Man, I just can't do this. Down we go. Whee! And uh, thus ends this uh, this video. Where are you? You know what? Come over here. There we go. Thus ends this video. Sorry I couldn't make it on top of the mountain. Uh, well, I made it higher, but that's fine. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And goodbye. <laughs> that's the end of this video. Yeah, Um. I'm working on some other stuff. I'll probably show some ragdoll stuff off. In, uh, in the next video and I've got some more fun uh, fun things that I'm doing as well oh this is a good idea here we go this might this might work this might work come on come on come on come on come on yay that made it much easier right okay well uh, dangerous but uh, there we go end of this video thanks goodbye